Hey, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boisel here. Today, I wanna to challenge your thinking of how you think of yourself as a graphic designer. I started my career 15 years ago as a graphic designer doing nightclub flyers and really low paying work. And over the years, I've been able to stack skills that have led me to being a creative agency owner. And my identity has shifted from just being a graphic designer or graphic artist to a business owner. And so that's what I wanna to talk to you guys today about stacking skills and moving from graphic designer to agency owner. So if you're ready to have some fun, you're ready to learn some new things and actually push yourself to the next level, that's what this video is for. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. But first, story time. So back in 2006, I was doing graphic design just as a side hustle. I was doing in the mortgage industry, making great money, and then the economy crashed and uh-oh, what am I gonna do? I have no money coming in, I have to find a way to make money. Talk to my mentor, he's like, dude, I will pay you to do my nightclub flyers for these events that I have, and I know that you're doing events on the side as well, so I was doing nightclub events, I was doing graphic design on the side, I was working in the mortgage industry, right? I was doing all these different things, and he's like, you just need to focus on doing graphic design right now, you have great talent for it, I'll go ahead and pay you every single week, for each flyer that you do, and I need two or three flyers a week. And so that was an opportunity for me to make two, 300 bucks a week, which was okay at the time, wasn't the best money uh, for me at that time, but it was something, it was something that was better than nothing. And I was at the very beginning of my career as a graphic designer, so I wasn't at the level that I am today. Over about a one year period, I started doing graphic design for all of the clubs and all of the bars and restaurants in my area. And my prices went from $30 a flyer all the way up to 125 and even as much as $150 a flyer. And instead of making a couple hundred bucks a week, I started making a few thousand dollars a month, which was great. I was gaining, getting more skills. I was gaining more attraction from people and businesses. People were seeing my work and they loved it but I was capping myself out. No matter how hard I worked, how many hours I worked, if I worked 24 hour shifts, I couldn't get over that six figure mark. And it wasn't until Larry, my mentor that I've mentioned many times, said, you need to start upselling printing. People need printing, they need these flyers printed, and there's great money in it. You've already done a lot of that for me, and the work that you do on the printing side is great, so why don't you just upsell printing? So that was a skill that I had to go learn. I learned how to do the printing side, I learned the different paper styles, the thicknesses, all that stuff, and next thing you know, my income went from under six figures to over six figures, because I added a new skill. Every time you add a new skill, you add an opportunity to make more money. Now, the beautiful thing about graphic design is there's a lot of demand. I think the demand in the industry is massive, and that's why there's so many people in the space from all over the world working from different prices from a dollar an hour and as much as $500 an hour, right? But you have to follow the demand, and this is one of the things that I learned early on in my career. The problem with that, though, is as a graphic designer, you're basically just a commodity, and there's nothing really unique or special about a commodity. Now, there's rare commodities out there. If you're a super talented designer like uh, Jaza or some of the other guys that are out there, then you are a very precious commodity, but most commodities are replicatable and you can go anywhere to get some graphic design. And it's really hard to stand out in that space, especially being as competitive as it is. Now, if you fast forward to when I sold my printing company, I was forced with making a new decision. What was I gonna do next? Well, during my adventure and during my journey as being a business owner and owning a printing and graphics company, I learned a lot of new skills. I learned how to do SEO. I learned how to do website design. And I already knew a little bit of website design, but I really took my web design skills to another level by having my own business. I learned about content management systems like WordPress and other systems that are out there. I started really expanding my skills and becoming a well-rounded business owner. And this is before I was even really a great leader. I really started to stack and skill stack, all these different things that I needed to know, like email marketing and direct mail marketing, right? I started to stack skills on top of skills on top of skills. And so now when business owners came to me with their problems, with their challenges, or with their, even just their design work, I was able to propose and help them solve bigger and bigger problems. And you may not know this, but I'll share this with you now. The bigger problems that you solve, the more that you're compensated. So you need to solve bigger problems in order to receive a bigger paycheck. And so you look at big companies, big world-changing companies of disrupted industries like Uber and Facebook, right? They solved a massive problem. Social networking was a solution to a massive problem that has actually become a problem in itself. And so you have to take that in consideration as understanding that when you gain these skills, you're able to get a be you're gonna be able to solve bigger and bigger problems. So this leads me to my first point. As a graphic designer, you're really only focused on one skill. 
Now it's important for you to know that the graphic design category actually fits into one of three buckets, which is the wealth category. People are coming to you because they wanna get the word out, they wanna present their brand the right way, and they wanna generate ROI. That is the goal for any business owner. And the faster you can do that, and the better you can do that, the more that you'll be paid for that. And so you need to take into consideration that you're really in the wealth category. And inside of that wealth category, if you're doing just graphic design, you're really limiting the amount of income and the amount of solutions that you can provide to somebody, which is really gonna cap you out. And that's what I experienced myself, and I'm probably sure that many of you guys are experiencing that as well. Transitioning over from graphic designer now to agency owner, I'm offering SEO and paid advertising and consulting. There's a lot of different services I offer, and I've had to learn the marketing strategy, the content strategy, social media strategy, video strategy, right? YouTube strategy, SEO strategy. There's all these different skills that I've been able to accumulate over 15 years through coaches and courses and programs like I have inside of the Instagraphics Pro Network that I'm now teaching my tribe. So I think it's really important that you understand that you're gonna have to start stacking skills above and beyond just being a graphic designer. If you wanna be an agency owner, the sales are gonna fall on you. So you're gonna have to learn how to sell. You're gonna have to learn how to market your business. You're gonna have to learn how to generate leads. And when you learn these skills and you master these skills, then these are things that you can start helping your clients with, which is gonna increase your income. The second thing that I really started to experience in my career as a graphic designer was the inconsistent roller coaster income. You get towards the holiday season and everything would die off from basically Halloween all the way up until just after New Year's, and then everybody's starting a new business and they want a logo or they want a flyer or they want something done for their business that's new. And so they come to you as a graphic designer and whatever you're charging, it doesn't matter, but you have these big hills and valleys inside your business and a lot of agency owners struggle with this as well but graphic designers really struggle with it and with low incomes already that they get it makes it really difficult to really thrive as a creative now as an agency owner you go from doing this all right i'm going to design this for you and get paid and i'm done to now we have an ongoing recurring relationship so if i'm doing seo that's a monthly deal you're gonna be paying me for at least three months at the very bare minimum, but with my clients, I make them sign a six month or 12 month contract. Now you have consistent income coming in and you can still offer the graphic design services, but you're adding an add-on on top of that. And so that gives you reoccurring revenue that gives you more stability as a business. And this is something that you really need to do when you're shifting from graphic designer over to creative marketing agency owner. The third piece that I really love about being an agency owner versus being a graphic designer is now I have a team. I'm not the one responsible for doing all of the graphic design work. I pick and choose the projects that I wanna work on. I'm working on one right now personally for Alyssa DeLuna. She's a coach, she helps women. And so this is a passion project of mine that I've walked her through all of the consulting, now to the actual brand execution, and I can pick and choose the projects that I want. But working with a team, is so energizing, it's so inspiring being able to lead people, encourage people, and see people really reach the heights of their career and just push them to their fullest potential because my mission every day is to wake up, help people like you, and to help people on my team get to what I call their Mount Olympus. Whatever their goal is in life, that's what I wanna do. And I love surrounding myself with people, and it can be very lonely as a graphic designer. When I had 50, 60, 80 hours worth of work per week in graphic design work that I was doing, and I was pulling all-nighters, it was very lonely. And so being a graphic designer can be lonely, and if you want to have more of a team environment, moving from just graphic designer over to creative agency owner or just marketing agency owner is a really good way to start building that team. The reason why you'll be able to build that team is because you're gonna have more revenue. You're gonna have more consistent revenue. Like I talked about, that recurring revenue is super helpful for you. So if you can do that, you can start bringing people onto your team, whether it's a VA or an assistant or another designer or a web designer or an SEO specialist. We have 11 people on our team now and it's really great to be able to actually take one of my ideas send it to my team and then have them just fulfill it and execute on my vision, which is really neat to be able to see my ideas just simply become a reality. So I'm just curious, are you a graphic designer now only doing graphic design work and looking to expand? I'd love to know below what services that you offer. Are you doing graphic design and web design? Are you doing only graphic design? Are you just doing logo design? Have you expanded your skill sets? Drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. I'm all about getting to know you guys and so if you wanna actually engage with me and get to know me, Go ahead and drop your name down below and say hello. As I was researching and looking into more information for this video, I found some statistics that I wanted to share with you that I thought were very staggering and to really give you some perspective of why it's important to go from designer to agency owner. If you look at the job market for graphic design, 
there are over 266, this is an estimated amount by, uh, I think it was uh, ZipRecruiter or something like that, but there are over 266,000 graphic designers. That's a lot of competition. One of the most important things that I learned years ago from Russell Brunson was being the king of your own category. In order for me to be a graphic designer and become the king of my category, that means I have to beat out 266,000 people. There's not enough lifetimes for me to be able to do that. Now, I am a very good graphic designer. I'm a great graphic designer, as many of my clients have told me, but I'm not the best in the world, and I don't ever plan on being the best in the world. And so for me, it takes a little bit of that pressure off of not having to be number one and king of my category, but I do wanna be king of my category. Now you switch over and you look at the agency owner world. As far as marketing agencies go, and this is based on statistics from IBIS World, is there are about 6,000 agency owners. So you can go compete with 266,000 people or you can compete with 6,000 people. I would much rather compete with 6,000 people. And now as I've evolved, even as a marketing agency owner over the last six years, I've realized that I wanna be the king of an even smaller category, which is the social impact marketing agency world. There are only a handful, very, very small handful, less than 10 companies that specialize in doing social impact marketing, which is something that I'm super passionate about. I've lived my whole life for that. And so it was a very natural fit for me to progress my agency to working with companies that only are socially conscious and that wanna help people in the world. And so now all of a sudden I go from 6,000 to six or 10 or maybe even 12, right? That is an even smaller category and it makes it easier for me to be the king of that category. So when people go, hey, what marketing agencies are the best with social impact? I'm gonna come up at the top of that list when they Google me. So it's all about narrowing your focus, niching down and really getting specialized, but also being able to offer a wide range of skills to your clients to solve a wide range of problems. Based on all of the stats that I've been able to research for years and years now, even the graphic designers that I know in my circle, all of them, every single one of them makes less than a hundred grand a year. That's not okay to me. That is not a place where you can really thrive, start other businesses, have other passions, and really live your life to the fullest potential. It's great to have, you know, 50, 60,000, 70,000 a year, but that's not where I want the people that are watching this channel to be. I want you to break that threshold, reach the six figure mark and beyond. And as a marketing agency owner, if you look at the statistics, ZipRecruiter says about $91,000 a year, but I think that's a really low end figure. The reality is, is most agency owners make 100K to up to 500K per year. And there are some out there, a rare few that make some some make $100,000 a month or even bigger than that. I have a friend of mine, Douglas James, that literally generates a million dollars a month as an agency owner. So the income potential is much higher, the fulfillment and having a team, being able to offer recurring revenue, have more stable income, those are all great parts of it and actually being able to continue to grow as a leader, as an entrepreneur and as a business owner and stack those skills. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope this was super helpful. I really wanna help you start to shift your identity from just being a graphic designer to being a creative agency owner because this is where you can really take your life and your business to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.